Hi, hello everyone. My name is David. Thank you for joining me today for today's video. Uh, I'm a life coach. I help people, try to help people heal and recover and grow after emotional trauma. And a major topic I talk about is narcissists, another narcissist video today. So I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And I want people to understand what that false self means and, and to understand your abuser a little bit. Understanding is healing, right? I preach that all the time. If we can understand who the person is that hurt us a little bit with compassion and understanding and, and empathy, things like this, I know that's hard to do for, for the, your abuser, but if we can do that, right, and we can understand why they hurt us so much, and it alleviates shame. We're not the bad person, okay? And that's healing. That's a part of your healing journey. It can really help you guys. So that's why I made this video today. So it comes down to the narcissist's true self was never formed, rejected immediately by their parents or parent. They did not support their autonomy and self-growth, let them have their own opinions and things like this. Shamed, neglected, and rejected was the child narcissist. Okay, by the parent or parents. This loss of self, this childhood they deny, this huge part of who they are is rejected and it's loss. And they refuse to look at that depression because it hurts. Any Anytime after loss, really important, anytime after we lose something significant in our life, enough, we tend to introspect and look at our own self and look at our own lives, but they can't do that. This rejection means they will not feel. They will not look at their self. And therefore, they don't know what they need and what they want. They're, what they value is totally off. Um, but they refuse to accept this depression because it hurts. They will not accept their self because they hate themselves, full of shame, and it hurts, okay? This depression they will not allow themselves to feel is the reason that they will not mourn or grieve over the loss of you, okay? They try to form and support their false self all the time and totally reject their true self, and they don't want you to focus or pay attention or know or see their true self. Mirror, mirroring, right? Narcissists, some mirror you. You guys ever notice that in the beginning of a relationship, right? They may ex take on things about you as, as if it's their own. You may not even know, you may not even know them at all. They may start this right away, day one. Oh, me too, me too. Oh, I like that too. Uh -huh. And get into it with you for a little while. And this kind of mirroring, right? If you reject your own true self of who you are, and you're forming a false self, right? It, they're doing it, they're forming a false self that you will accept. They have rejected who they are and they want you to accept the false self they're forming. What a better way to do that than hold up a mirror and show you you, right? I think of it as um, children typically, after being born, typically will look like their father and then tend to, as life goes on, maybe tend to start looking like the mother. Just typically. I know there's a lot of you that you'll say, no, I didn't look anything like my father. But typically. Um, and I think that's so the father accepts the child. Right? Oh, it looks like me. It's mine. I will take responsibility for it. Take care of it. And I, I just, I think that's an interesting comparison. They hold a mirror up to you. Will you accept me? Will you accept this false self, this false narrative, this false illusion. They're delusional. Projection. Narcissists project. What does that mean? What, are the, what is that? Well, I'm rejecting who I am, my true self. I'm trying to form this false self because I can't accept my true self. I can't accept these things that I hate, that are shameful, that are painful. So I'm going to put it on to you. You're close to me. You take on that. So I can't accept that part of myself, right? I just want you to accept my false self, right? Gaslighting. 
Gaslighting. We all have been gaslit by narcissists, haven't we? Gaslighting. Um, old term. I'm not going to get into it. But it means uh, not just creating a false narrative, but literally getting you to believe it. Right? Getting you to doubt yourself and who you are. Things like this, right? So, gaslighting. You must believe the illusion. You must believe this false self that I have here. I can't accept and I reject my true self and that's things like failure right that's things like uh, mistakes right I don't apologize I, I reject that part of myself I didn't do it you did it you take it you did you don't remember doing that <laughs> right you take on the part that I reject and you admire me for my false self Right? And that's why narcissists don't love. They don't want your love. They want your admiration. Right? Love would be my true self. Reject. Here's my false self. You can't love my false self. You, you admire my false self. That's what they want. And because they never mourn or grieve this huge, huge loss of their self, they don't mourn or grieve the loss of you. In relationships they typically like I said before don't want to be alone right so after a relationship that's lost that's a failure right we introspect look at ourselves, and it causes depression they can't look at themselves because that does cause depression you see that and so reject that and so after a relationship with you what do they do write to someone else Write to someone else and reject that part of my life, right? So I reject my childhood, and now I reject this relationship with you. It was all your fault, and I go right on into someone else because I can't be by my true self. I need people to constantly support my false self, admire, to give me attention. Grandiosity, huh? Aren't narcissist grandiose overcompensating for their shame their true self reinforcing false self right if my true self I hate and I reject and I'm trying to form my false self that false self is great deserves the best the best I hear the narcissist say that all the time the best <laughs> um, this reinforcing the false self supports their entitlement right i my true self reject no i my false self deserves the best deserves what you have and i shouldn't have to work for it right because this false self is omnipotent it's godlike deserving of everything i want and need you see that instead of taking care of my true self i'm going to try to take care of my false self my true self needs love, it needs compassion, it needs security, it needs human emotional connection. My false self needs nothing from you. My false self isn't vulnerable, right? My false self deserves the best and is the best and is better than you over compensation because the true self is bad and hurts. That's it. That's it. I hope I've made some sense here. You know? And this, this is hard to understand for people who have a, also an a unstable sense of their own self. So really a part of this healing, learn from this, right? And start accepting our own self and who we are. Finding out just exactly who we are. Okay? Don't try to reject this pain that has caused you. Pain is a tool for learning. Their compulsivity, repeating these patterns, is because they refuse to learn, because they refuse to feel the pain. Hurts too much. Let's not make the same mistake, too. Okay? Take your time. Don't commit right away till we know what a healthy, loving, beautiful, functioning, growing relationship actually is. And start having that with yourself. Start having that with friends, okay? 
Thank you all of you very much. I would love to hear your own add-ons, your own uh, your own examples of behaviors of them rejecting their true self and supporting their false self. Would love to. Many, many more examples, I'm sure. Maybe I'll make another video again. Um, so tell me what you think, please. If you like what I'm doing and, and I, I'm helpful, please support me if you can by subscribing to the channel. Hit that notification button. Vote yes or no, up or down, and go down below and tell me why. Thank you. I feel like sharing it, too. Um, anyone that wants coaching, daviddemars.com. And please always love yourself first. Bye.